Were you a Ready Star Wars fan, looking uh, at the quote you put inside the, the movie? Yeah, I've been a Star Wars fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> it's hard not to bring that perspective to it when you're working on this. You know, I mean, I've been a Star yeah, Wars course. fan since I was a little kid. Yeah, so. you're growing up. With Star yeah, Wars. but like, I mean, my... it's, so it's it's interesting. Like you're trying to just you know tell a really good story. So that means trying to put your adult brain mm -hmm. into making the story work and making it interesting and unexpected. Um, but then you always have that inner fan that you can check in with yeah. and say, yeah, but does, does this a feel child. like Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, yeah, absolutely. How did you um, manage uh, to give consistency uh, to the saga and creating a new characters in a movie full of stars? Yeah, all of the new characters, and really there's only three of them, each one of them is in the movie for a really specific purpose, and it's, usually, it's, it's to support one of the existing characters. So for instance, the characters of Rose and DJ, mm -hmm. uh, they're there because Finn needed kind of an angel and a devil on his shoulder for his journey. Mm -hmm. um, or uh, Laura, Laura Dern, Laura Dern yeah. she's there for Oscar. She's mm -hmm. there because Oscar needed someone he could but up against, yeah, and I the knew the new boss. Yeah, the new <laughs> boss, and I knew that wouldn't work with Leia because I, Leia and Oscar like each mm -hmm. other too much. You know, Leia and Poe like each other too much. So yeah, the 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 new characters serve the existing ones, I guess, and vice versa.